In August 1948, a young civil engineer and World War II veteran named Alfred Sanborn rented a small office in Toledo, Ohio. His first contract? To convert a boiler plate in Willow Run, Michigan from oil to coal. Despite these modest beginnings, Sanborn had big dreams and the talent to match. Al Sanborn set out to build a global company with foresight and agility, one that could build for the future, one that connected clients, colleagues, and communities with a shared belief in the values of optimism and philanthropy, a company that went beyond just evolving with the times and became a pioneering leader in the architecture and engineering industry. Sanborn's skill and ambition landed him even bigger contracts, and within that first year, he brought aboard a partner, Jack Steckety. Within 10 years, the firm had expanded globally with a $10 million contract for a carbon graphitizing plant in Monterey, Mexico. As the firm looked forward to expanding their breadth of offerings, architects Burry Otis and John Evans joined the team to create the legacy firm that is today, SSOE, Sanborn, Steckety, Otis, and Evans.